what do you think allowed them to to pull away there in the second half? Uh, MB made every shot that was needed, um, and they were contested. We did a few different things defensively on them. That's why great players are great. They can they figure things out. We try to not give them the daily diet of the same thing, but he's a good player. He made every shot down the stretch. Um, we put him on the free throw line. That was the key to the one of our big keys of the game. Defend them without fouling. 33 free throws. And his 13 is almost as many as we had as a team. And I know it was in a loss, but it seemed like Brad was was moving pretty well, playing pretty well. Do you, do you feel like the, the two days off uh, made a difference for him? Yeah, he was playing well. I mean, they're, that's a physical team. They allow them to be physical on him. Um, but he, he fought through it. Um, gets frustrating at times, but he's a great player. He, he, he carried us a lot of important times of the game. Um, he just... And B was too much for us to handle at the end of the game, but they won the first game. It's not a, if it was last week, um, the play in tournament, it would not be a good feeling right now, but it's the best of four. Some of our guys never been in this situation before. And that was the first taste of a, a playoff series on the road, which is a, a great experience. Now we had that under our belt. Now it's time to step up and play a little bit better next game. Fred, uh, uh, what do you think allowed Tobias Harris to have so much success? Well, we knew going into the series that he's uh, right there with uh, being an all-star player. Uh, the first half, he just made every every shot. We weren't giving him every shot, but he was making some tough ones, and then he got he got open in transition able to attack. Uh, he's a tough guard. I mean, Rui's going to be better next game, uh, but it wasn't just all Rui. We switched off on him, and he was he was spreading it out, those first 28 points on everybody. But in the second half, we did a better job on him. And then, indeed, you know, it got loose. But they got basically three all-stars on the team, and they're high-level high level players that make uh, make your your defense make tough decisions. And, you know, you can, you can stop – or do the best you can to put a bunch of bodies on one and the other guy gets open and creates opportunities for himself or his team. And and did the officials give you any exp explanation on uh, the, the turnover where they called Russ out of bounds with 37 seconds left when after the review? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. what I mean, maybe there's a different camera angle. I saw it. It was like the Sean Elliott play for years ago for – for us old guys that remember that, uh, unless there's a camera on the floor that you can see if his if his shoe was touching the white line, but I don't know. They have they obviously looked at a bunch of different angles and they, they called what they called. Da. But that's, a big, that's like a that's a big play. I mean, it gives us a chance to score and. The other big play I thought was um, DB gets fouled, you know, with 50 something seconds to go. And normally you would be in the bonus, but we weren't in the bonus. I would have cut it to three there. Sorry, DA. No, no, no worries. No, it's all, it's all good. Um, I was going to ask you, you know, it is the first playoff experience for Rui and, and, you know, most of your other guys have been in playoffs before, but that, that fine line, between playoff experience and, and not knowing what to do, is that in a, in a, against the number one seed, the kind of mistakes you just can't make? Absolutely, we made, a, we made some costly mistakes and this team is a veteran uh, loaded team that they, 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 they capitalize. They don't wait for the next time you make that mistake. They make it with instincts and right away. They see a mistake, they, they don't have to sniff one out. They know it and they just capitalize on it. They got good players and we got a lot of guys, you know, a big portion of our guys are that are playing in playoffs for the first time. And it's, there's been a lot of great players in the history of the game that haven't had a, a good first playoff game. But <clears throat> with our guys, I mean, I thought, I thought Rui is pretty solid. I thought Alex is pretty solid. They just, they played better than us. Uh, we, we put them on the free throw line. That's a big discrepancy. 
not complained about it. We fouled. I mean, that's what but they're good players. They put you in some tough situations. Um, I think we could have got there more, but we did we did foul them to put them on the line. But I thought, like I said, we could have got there more. And, and one thing on on when you brought the doubles on Embiid, it seemed like the double was always on the catch as opposed to the dribble. Is that is that what you were looking to do? Yeah, we had a couple of different ways. We tried to from the baseline, from the top, square him up on the dribble, um, but front him. Uh, he's good, man. The guy is. He's strong. He's athletic. He's wide. I mean, he, he's not a he's not a skinny athlete. He's a a well built athlete that you know he's he puts his arms out. I mean, he, he's covering a lot of room. So we did our best. We got to be a little bit better. We got to be a little bit better on on Tobias as well. But those guys put you in some tough positions, and it's not like our guys were trying to put them on the line or trying to give them easy points. We were, we were competing. We just came up a little short for the first game. Ava. Scott, um, you mentioned the fouling. You obviously moved through your centers pretty quickly in a normal game, but how much did them each picking up two or three quick fouls um, kind of affect what you wanted to do, especially in the first half? Yeah, no, it, it, I mean, it affects you. It just, it just, takes a little bit of the rhythm, but we got three, so we can kind of adjust accordingly. But, you know, um, MB picked up, he picked up a couple early and, you know, they had to make some adjustments, And but he came back, you know, he's a great player. He's going to come back and get his minutes and not foul out and get to the free throw line. That's just the great players do that. They have a knack for playing in, in foul situations. Um, I thought our bigs did a pretty good job. Like I said, I think they, they can play better, which is good. You know, we lost by, you know, seven points. Uh, the third quarter, I thought we gave them opportunities to get out in transition and easy buckets on some of our transition mess ups and, and switch mess ups. Um, but we, we can we can play better and that's the good thing. And um, Brad looked like he was moving as well as he has in a week tonight, obviously. And he's been talking about kind of the little things that he's able to manipulate as he still heals to, to still get kind of his normal numbers. What are you seeing that he's able to do, the little moves that he's able to make, especially um, tonight against that defense? Well, I mean, he's definitely moving better. I mean, it's, you know, when he came back in that Charlotte game, you know, he, that's obviously a, a sign of his commitment and his toughness. and. He was healthy enough to be on the court, but he wasn't 100% healthy, if you know what I mean. But every every day that passed by, every game that passed by, he's gotten a little bit better and confident in it. I think he's in a good place right now. Um, I like the way he moves. I like the way he sets up. I like the I like some opportunities for us to do a better job of getting them from. Um, holding him and, 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 and so he can get come off free. I think our bigs going to do a little bit better job on some of our pinaways, um, but he's definitely was moving, moving a lot better than he did a week ago. Matt Paris. Hey Scott, you guys shot 56%. Brad had a good game. Batons, you know, like you guys got a lot of contributions from everyone. I mean, are you, what do you think of the way you guys played overall? And is there, like, were you, Surprised, like, surprised you guys didn't win, given kind of how things. Yeah, you know, I, I'm surprised we didn't win. We went to the game thinking about winning. It wasn't. We don't want to be close. We had enough of those early in the season, but we 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 were solid, but not good enough. Uh, that's why I told the guys at halftime. We were up one. I said, guys, we haven't played our best basketball yet uh, in that first half. But let's, let's do it in the second half. But they came out. And they got hot. They got hot. They got hot some from the three. I think they made three threes in a row during a stretch. With, I think it was like 15 to four run or 16 something. Um, they, I mean, I, I, I'm, nothing to be ashamed of our effort, nothing to be ashamed of our execution. They just played a little bit better than us. And then we got to get them off. We got to, we got to keep them off the line. That's, that's a big key. And that's how they can stop the game. They can slow the game down and get their defense set when we foul them. All right, last question on Mark Narducci. Hey, Scott, uh, 
as well as Brad and Russ played in their moments, they, they both had six turnovers. How about that? That seemed to be a real, real tough thing for you guys to overcome. Yeah, I mean, we turned it over. Some of our live ball turnovers, we got to we got to clean up. I thought it was some spacing issues, but they, they put their hands on you. You got to, you got to be able to be able to manage that. Um, some of them I thought could have been fouls. Some of them I thought could have been spacing. Some of them I thought could have been better decisions by Russell and Brad. It's a combination of a lot, of, a lot of things, but uh, we got We got to get better with that as well. What, what do you think made the difference with them there in, in the second half tonight? You know, them getting to the line was big. Uh, but just some are coming with the mistake, unforced. Uh, really, we got big control. And what'd you make of, uh, you know, Tobias Harris and, and the way he played, and what you guys can adjust going into game two? Uh, we've watched him and figure it out. Fred. Hey Russell, you were you were involved in a lot of points tonight where you were double teaming. You were the guy coming over to double and beat. Uh, what what is communication like for you guys as a team in those scenarios when when you have to double a guy like that? Oh. What's your question, Fred? You you were you were one of the guys coming over to double and beat a lot tonight. What what is communication like as a team in those scenarios when you're doubling a guy like that? Yeah, I mean, that's I, you know, it's part of communication. You know, you gotta figure out a way to get it, do it mixed up a little bit, show them different coverages. Ava. Russ, how much does experience make in a game like tonight when there were just little kind of things on the margin, like you said, getting to the foul line? I mean, it's important, but it's a serious one one game. One one game at home. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, that's that. Uh, playoffs, I mean, that doesn't matter. Just uh, try to find ways to, to win a game with a ball. And I feel like I probably don't have to ask, but what was going through your mind when they were reviewing that uh, turnover call really late in the fourth? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Chase. Uh, Russ, on a related note, did you think your shoe touched the sideline? Uh, I mean, it don't matter now. It doesn't matter. You guys were able to keep it pretty close most of the way. What do you think made the difference for them tonight? Uh, you know, they go to the free throw line a lot. Uh, we turned the ball over a couple of times. They got the offensive rebounds. I think that was that was the biggest difference maker. That, that small run they made, uh, I think that was in the fourth quarter, if I'm not wrong. Uh, they got that seven point lead and, uh, you know, basically they didn't really get back to having a good shot of winning the game. And they, they have a lot of length, obviously, defensively. What, what is that experience like for you just trying to get open off the ball behind the three point line against that defense? Uh, you know, just got to be more patient uh, coming off those screens sometimes, uh, you know, kind of not, not rush it. Pay attention to what they're doing defensively, get the ball moving, and uh, you know very often on those plays that we're running for my shot, and just I just give it up, and uh, somebody else gets a good look. So I got to be a little more patient on that one. Chase, Travis, um, what do you think you guys can do better in Game Two against uh, Tobias Harris, considering uh, the first half that he had? Uh, you know they. They got so many great players on that team that it's like it's hard. It's like you know we're gonna put all our attention on uh, Tobias Harris. Then probably Embiid is gonna go off, and, and then you can ask me the same question about Embiid. Uh, you know, Embiid is definitely the, their best player on the team. Uh, we try to limit his opportunities as much as possible. You know, he got in foul trouble. I think we did a good job there. But you know, uh, what can you say? Just. Keep him, keep him away from getting the easy ones. You know, some transition, transition threes where you don't find him. You know, those, those are the players you got to keep an eye on. And, uh, that's basically, you know, he's, he's probably going to end up getting his 20, 25 points anyway. And what led to your uh, breakout there in the first half? And, and is it, you think it's something that you can build on? Uh, I just got good looks. Uh, you know, they they kind of missed me out there on, on the 
defensive end. You guys found me for uh, for open looks, got me going, and uh, you know sometimes it just it just takes one to get it rolling. Ava. Obviously, you guys have been in this situation before where you play really well and come away with the close loss anyway. What is it? How does just knowing you guys did kind of a lot of things right uh, affect the mentality going into game two? Well, we already said at halftime, we weren't even playing close to to the level we can play. Uh, and, you know, at this moment, it's a good sign that we can, we can definitely play a lot better and, uh, and put ourselves in a better position to win. Yeah. Elvis, there's, I'm sure there's no way you can explain to guys that have never been in the playoffs before what it's like to be in the playoffs. So what is that learning curve like when you're out there and it's the first, it's your first playoff game and you've never experienced that before? Uh, I think when, when I was in San Antonio, that was basically the, the attention to detail you're paying, uh, paying really a lot of attention there. Uh, you know, you go through every player multiple times. You make sure that the guys that uh, haven't been scoring the whole season, that none of them go off. Uh, and you just kind of try to pay more attention to all those little details. Uh, you get the game plan in place, uh, and then you get a chance to adjust it from game to game and see what works, what doesn't, uh, on both, both ends of the court. First of all, what do you think made the difference for them there in the second half? Uh, first, I want to praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, for this opportunity of being on the stage and being healthy. Uh, but for them, I mean, they, they made a lot of threes and uh, got a lot of open ones in the second half. Uh, I think our turnovers really kicked our butt in our hands, but six of them. I mean, we're not going to win a game like that. So, uh, you know, we had like, 15 total. So, yeah, we just got to gotta take care of the ball. Uh, a lot better than what we did and, and get back and get back and play defense. Fine, guys. And I think to most people watching it, it looked like you were moving better. Um, you know, maybe the two days rest um, made a difference. Did it feel that way? Did it feel like you, you know you're you're better with your hamstring right now? Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's trending in the right direction, so that's it's always a positive. And then you have you know, a couple of days off. We got another two days before we play again, so you know, that was always beneficial. And uh, I'm definitely you know utilizing every every single day and moment to you know treat treat it and make sure it's close to 100 as possible when I step up. Ava. Brad, in a game where it, it seemed like it was kind of attention to detail across the board that was a little lesser than Philadelphia maybe, and it, it not necessarily one thing, how do you prioritize going into game two? Uh, I mean, you understand what, what their, uh, who their guys are and what they're capable of doing. Obviously, as the series goes on, you become more acclimated with guys and their tendencies. Uh, and what they want to do, but you know, for the most part, a lot of our guys haven't been in this situation. A lot of our guys haven't been in this situation. So, uh, you know, this is very, uh, I don't want to say shocking, but it's very, like, it's, it's new for a lot of our guys, you know, so it's a, it's a whole new level, uh, and understanding that, you know, that level has to be played every single possession. And, uh, you know, I think, I think it's kind of us getting our feet wet a little bit here, so, you know, We'll definitely have a different mindset and mentality uh, game two. And each game, you make adjustments. You know, uh, Tobias had it going earlier tonight. Second half, it wasn't the case, you know. So it's, it's just a matter of just staying with it, uh, staying engaged, and, you know, and uh, understanding that, you know, Joel's going to be their horse, you know, who leads them. Uh, you know, they got a lot of pieces around them who can really, you know, fill up the statue too. So, you know, Tobias is that guy tonight. So we can limit him, and uh, I think we'll be good. And compared to your last time you were in the playoffs, how is your confidence and the type of confidence um, you have in yourself, I guess, differ from four years ago? Oh, man, I'm excited. Uh, I was like a kid in the candy shop today. Like, I just felt really happy, excited just to be on the floor, having fun, being back on the stage, um, embracing the journey we've been on to get to where we are now. Uh, you know, so it was just fun. It was just fun to be back on the floor, fun to be in this environment. Um, and, you know, for me, it's obviously we all want to win and uh, we want to do well. And, uh, but, you know, we, we took a tough one on the chin tonight, but we always get better. And, and that's where I come in. I'm more comfortable and confident in my game where it needs to be. Uh, and I'm a lot more prepared to be 
you know, to lead the team into the playoffs now than I was a couple years ago, too. So. Fred. Hey, Brad. Uh, you mentioned Tobias a couple times. What What do you think allowed him to go off, especially in the first half like that? I don't know. I think he. Uh, I think we miscommunicated a couple of his uh, pick and rolls, switches, or coverages that we 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 had planned on him. And I think he was a little bit too comfortable. I think he, he got off. I mean, he was getting downhill every time I turned out. He was getting downhill, getting layups, uh, mid range jumper. So he was. He's pretty much massaging the ball whenever he was out there. So we just got to make sure you know we jam him up, make him uncomfortable. Uh, you know, put the ball on the floor and try to create for somebody else. And and. You you were, especially in, in that third and fourth quarter, you were just full attack mode, attacking the rim. Um, was that something, was that a goal for you going into the matchup or was that just kind of you reading the game and, and seeing where they were playing you? A little bit of both. I watched film uh, from the last couple of times we played them. And uh, obviously I want to take advantage of all the opportunities that I get, uh, which I can be open. It's tough. We got Ben Simmons, a 16 guarding you and I'm running right into a seven footer all the time. So it's, I got I definitely got to pick and choose my spots and, uh, you know, when and where not to be aggressive. I mean, Ben's an aggressive defender. Um, so you obviously have to be cognizant of that. And for me, it was just, it was attack, attack, attack. I know Joel had three fouls. You know, I wanted to see if he would stay in front of me or if he would foul me again. And uh, some things were working. So, you know, and my legs felt a little heavy in the first half. So I was able to kind of get up and down a little bit more and they settle down in the second half, so I feel better. DA. Brad, uh, it, you've, you've been in a lot of these playoff series, but when it's your first time, what is it, how do you avoid kind of getting overwhelmed by the moment? Oh, it's tough, especially with the crowd, you know, because we haven't had a crowd all year. You know, the crowd definitely uh, plays a factor, especially here in Philly. You know, their fans are rowdy. So uh, it was, it's, it's tough. I mean, you just got to settle in. You got to, you got to understand that it's just another game. You know, it's as it's, it's big and as intense as it is, it's another game. But, you know, we all have the skill and ability to go out here and play, you know, at the highest level. So enjoy it. You know, I think a lot of times we were so, you know, focused on the game and so, you know, headstrong or doing well that we lose sight of having fun. You know, this is this is what we all worked hard for at the end of the year, you know, during the year, off season, you know, preseason to now, you know, it's this is what we work for. So let's enjoy it. Enjoy our journey. A lot of teams didn't think we'd be here. Um, so, you know, understand that and, and be prideful in that and, and take that onto the floor with you. I mean it's just it's definitely it's not gonna be easy. I mean, because everybody's level of play has to rise up. Uh, and, and guys will start seeing that as games go on and go on and series go on. So uh, it's imperative, man. Just just relax in, settle in, and be confident in yourself and have fun. That that little stretch in the third where it looked like, I don't know if the doubles were late or if MB was just looking over them, but they were able to get Curry a couple of looks. They were able to get Danny a couple of threes to kind of got them the lead. Is that, that small attention to detail, um, how do you kind of, emphasize that you can't take a possession off against these guys? Well, a lot of those were off my turnover. So, you know, that's on my back and on my shoulders. I got to take care of the ball, make better passes, make smarter decisions. I think a lot of those led out to transition threes in which we had to scramble, got guys mismatched with guys. So uh, our, our defense is very good on offense. We get up with a shot every time. You know, we love the fact we can get our defense set, but we're turning the ball over, you know, they're pushing it, you know, and they got guys who can flat out shoot, uh, you know, across the board. So, you know, respectfully so, you know, we got to be a lot better with that and, and taking care of the ball, but uh, understanding that, you know, this is something they do. They're going to fill up, they're going to fill up a stat sheet with threes and they're going to take a lot of them. Matt Paris. So Brad, you guys shot six, uh, 56%. We got and beat into foul trouble. I mean, and you guys played a, it seemed like a pretty high level in stretches. I mean, does that make this one tougher to swallow or because there's areas you can identify, okay, we need to get better in this, this, and this, that it's easier to like kind of handle, I don't know. It's both. I mean, we always feel like we can win a game. You know, I always, at least I damn sure do. I'm always confident in this and myself. And, and I believe we're in every game. We definitely, 
you know, had I think we had the reins on it tonight and we kind of we let it slip in that third. You know, I think when they when they start getting out of transition and hitting those threes, it kind of kind of dismantled us a little bit. But uh, I mean, even then we stayed in the game, we got stops, we were still, you know, within the arm's reach of, of, of really pulling it out. So uh, you know, it, it'll be better as the series go on. We'll we'll become we'll make the adjustments, the proper adjustments. Uh, you know, and uh, we'll be ready. We'll be ready to game two. Last question, Christos. Hey, Brad. Hope you're doing well. Despite the results, what did you see that made you optimistic about the game two and the, and the rest of the series? Uh, we didn't play great at all, and we we were still in the game. We still had opportunity to win. I think that's what that's what kind of keeps me going and keeps me motivated. Is the fact you know we didn't. I didn't, I don't think I played great. You know, I don't think I had a good game. So I think we still got a couple of levels we can tap into and you know, from everybody across the board. And I think that's the team we were at the end of the season, how we finished off. We didn't necessarily have that same intensity tonight, you know, and so we got to we gotta get back to that and understand that these games are, man, A++ level, you know, so we got to we gotta bring it every night. And uh, that's up to me, up to Russ, and making sure that our guys are ready to go. And how important for you is to approach the game to us, the most important game of the series? Because if the Sixers made the 2-0, two, two it's going to be... A little more difficult. For well, I mean, every every game is tough. It's the playoffs. Uh, but all you do is take it a game at a time. You can't look down the road and you can't look back. I mean, what's happened has happened. Uh, we don't have any control over what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, but we do have control over what happens today and our energy and our focus and effort and everything of that nature. So, uh, you know, we, we take it on a chain tonight. We, we be mad, frustrated, whatever the case may be, watch film, you know, come back tomorrow, make the proper adjustments. Tuesday, the same thing. And uh, Wednesday, be ready to go, you know, because they they got a hungry team out of us too. So they, they know we're going to come. They know we're going to be physical. So it's the same on both sides.